Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter in Pittsburgh, PA, live from the Mayhem Studios. Live-ish? Depends on how you get this. But anyways, hello to the Periscopers out there. As we record, I like to get a little bit of feedback, get a little bit of live stuff going on. Follow me at Sorgatron on the Twitter to find out when I'm doing it. Usually Thursday morning or uh, after our other recordings on Monday or Tuesday night. And that's usually when we squeeze these in. So today I want to talk about Windows 10. I've got the first uh, 24-ish hours of it and actually spent a good bit of time with it. Uh, since my uh, Mac was uh, tied up for a good portion yesterday and still is right now at the moment with a little bit of uh, capturing of a show over the weekend I'm going to be working w with the great folks over at the RWA. I was not unable to attend, so uh, we'll be post-editing that here in the next uh, 48 hours and hopefully get right up to you at PittsburghWrestling.com. But uh, so, so I've had some time with it. And uh, first of all, uh, the installation process on my uh, Asus uh, uh, Windows 8 laptop uh, that I've had here for uh, well over a year, I think. It's uh, this is a laptop that's been uh, I felt very underpowered. Like uh, I've I've it feels like if I get it going, open up TweetDeck, open up uh, three tabs in my in my Chrome, it feels like I'm slowed to a crawl, becomes unresponsive. But I absolutely loved that it was a a touch screen, you know, and I loved that that idea, that iPady feel to it. Um, it does adequately play video games. Uh, I can pull up an, uh, you know, a Batman Arkham Asylum or something like that, and it plays just fine and natively, and, and, and I have no problems with that, as long as I'm not running a lot of crap in the background. So, go to upgrade. Uh, not a huge problem. I, I did my reserve a while ago, uh, and, and I hope you did that. I actually, uh, my wife's computer, uh, she hadn't, and it looks like she wasn't updated or something like that, and I still haven't seen an update yet. Uh, you may not all get the update option for Windows 10 right away. Depends on what state your computer's in. Did you see that little icon with the Windows icon in the right corner by your clock? Did you click on it and reserve your copy, using the air quotes here? Uh, did you, you know, have you been upgrading? Did you make sure all the critical upgrades have been applied to your computer? Because I think that all needs to be done before that will pop up for you. Now, I got to the point where I could go into the Windows update, see a reserve button in there, but it was altogether unresponsive. So I don't know entirely what's going on. Maybe something weird with the early upgrade process. I'm going to boot it up here this morning and uh, see if that kicks off. But otherwise, other than that, uh, you know, it's a lot of waiting. Go get yourself a cup of coffee. Uh, make sure you don't have work you need to be doing right now. And, uh, and, and, and it goes through the process. Um, as always, if you're upgrading to a major operating system like this, Make sure everything's backed up. Maybe you have everything already in your OneDrive or your Google Drive or something like that. Uh, just make sure everything on that computer is in another place. And uh, if the worst happens and you need to start from scratch, make sure uh, you have that taken care of too. Also, uh, most computers, not that I did any of this stuff, uh, but most computers, you should be able to make a backup copy of your installation, like on a USB drive. I recommend you doing that or figure it out, hey, maybe you should do that. Uh, we actually have a recent computer. Um, and not so much that we, not so much that we, um, um, uh, you know, had to install from scratch, but everything was on the hard drive to reinstall and that corrupted. And this was like a Windows 7 computer, actually. And uh, the the USB, or I'm not the USB, the, uh, the 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 license key for the Windows that was came with the computer was rubbed off the bottom. Now I don't think the codes are on Windows 8 laptops in the same way, but go into your system uh, info and make sure you snag that. I think that's just uh, displayed right there. So. Um, and again, I, I want to disclaim, I haven't been regularly on Windows for a long, long time, other than the Windows XP computers here in the studio, uh, but uh, or Windows 8 for the Wirecast, but I load it up, boot it up, hit record, and I do nothing in Windows, but anyways. So uh, so I did the upgrade process, it took a while, it's it's fine, it's, it's nice, you got a little progress bar uh, going with a big circle. They're all about circles now in Windows, apparently, as your progress bars and your waiting bars and all that kind of thing. So uh, you go through the process. It, 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 uh, it It's fine. It takes a while for you to, to, to update all your drivers and everything, and you're good to go. And it dropped me right into, it. Took, you know, it's always unsettling when you do an upgrade. It was like, wait, everything looks exactly the same. As what I was to before. My desktop's still there. My icons are still exactly where they're at. I need to clean those up a little bit, anyways. Uh, and uh, but you, 
then you start getting into the start menu and of course it doesn't take over the screen like you're used to. It always annoys me here in the studio because sometimes I'll bump that Windows key because it's beside the uh, Alt key that I use to uh, switch my shots. Uh, like so, right, on the keyboard. And uh, sometimes I'll pop up and just do a complete takeover of my screen. You'll see purple pop up over there on the screen behind me. Uh, and it, it just it's just freaking awkward. But anyways, I digress. So it's nice that you have just a real start button. I don't like that. Uh, and of course, they're going to do this. All your default stuff is at the top. So it still has all your tiles like you did on that Windows 8 start menu or takeover screen or whatever the case may be. Um, but uh, but but you're, of course, going to be able to rearrange that. Uh, I dived in a little bit to the Xbox uh, uh, program, I guess, where you can actually go in and it has all the games I've played. It has my, all my information down there. Uh, it's uh, it, it's really nice to have kind of a, a crossover place. And this, this really kind of uh, pushes to what we're going to get here soon with this cross integration. Stories coming out all over the place about how you're going to be able to, of course, they've already talked about streaming from your Xbox to your PC, but now you're going to be able to stream actually PC games to your Xbox, which is really kind of exciting because that, that feels like that opens the door to a lot of stuff. And to see these these platforms playing together, when we've, we've heard from the beginning, the Xbox runs a Windows kernel. Why have we not had some kind of cross compatibility in the nearly 15 years we've had these, these, these uh, systems? So... Uh, the start menu, I, I, I think I'm not used to the start menu of Vista and 7 the way it was, the way it was kind of this weird searchy kind of thing. So I'm, I'm getting back used to that. Uh, Cortana is there. Um, I'm not sure what to ask it. And it's not really integrated into my life since I'm mostly on iOS and uh, Mac OS and Google platforms. So I have to see if there's a way for me to, uh, and I know there probably is, to put in my Google Calendar into that Windows Calendar. Uh, put my uh, whatever else into into the Windows world, at least a little bit, talk to my Google platform. That is uh, really kind of been, uh, you know, use Google Calendar, and uh, you have Sunrise takes takes all the information from that. My, my, my phone's calendar can take all the information from that, but I prefer Sunrise. Microsoft bought Sunrise, so uh, maybe somewhere in there, that means the calendar is going to be a little bit better here in Windows 10 as I dive into it and take a little more time with it. So I, basically for me, it's again, it's not my primary. I have a Mac, a MacBook, but I don't really need the MacBook all the time if I'm just doing social media. If I'm just doing website work, I can throw Photoshop on this computer. It's not, it's not that bad with that. I want to be able to pick up this laptop and have it have um, all the basic trimmings of all the other computers. Um, it has my Google Drive on it. It has my OneDrive on it with all the same information that's on my MacBook, that's on my uh, uh, computer uh, Mac Mini in my in my studio, uh, and, and just be able to kind of run with it. It's a nice spare laptop, and I know not everybody just has spare computers lying around, but I have a lot going on down here, and I I, I find myself acquiring a bit. And 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 you need computers for uh, specific tasks from time to time, especially on certain shoots, and it's kind of nice to have that uh, kind of situation. So so I'm hoping Cort Cortana can become a little more integrated. I, I do notice as you go in there, it has a Google Cards type functionality where it's trying to tell you, uh, you know, I did have it tell me, hey, what's the traffic like from, from this point to this point? You know, what's the weather today? Uh, you know, typical stuff that I would ask of Siri. And I'm curious as I go, I'll probably end up just kind of asking the same stuff. Again, another thing, music. Music's not... I, I, it seems that from the last uh, um, presentation we had on Windows 10, if you're not all in on Microsoft services, you're of course not going to get everything. Just like I love Google Music, but it doesn't. But Siri won't make me play a song in Google Music as easily as if I had Apple Music. You're going to have that across the board, unfortunately, and that's going to hamper a lot of people's experiences. So. That's basically it. Really a lot with the start menu. Otherwise, uh, I, it seems to add a little bit of uh, zippiness to my computer. Only has 4 gigs of RAM, so it's been, as I mentioned at the top of the show, a little sluggish with things. So I'm kind of hoping uh, that continues. Uh, it's hung a little bit here and there, but uh, altogether, I think they do, did add a little bit of speed to this. That was one of the promises of this upgrade, and uh, that's about all I got. Uh, so... Let me know, what do you think of the Windows 10 upgrade? Did you dive into it? Are you waiting for it? Let me know on the social media, at Sorgatron. Comments on this video or wherever you may find this. Sorgatron.com is, is where most of the stuff lives. So uh, until next time. 
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.